high tech, low tech, or no tech, through our hobbies and our passions, the geek comes out in us all. The world's a geek. I am a geek and I'm proud of it. Geeks. Geeks unite. Well, let's get those nerds! Nerds! No! Did you just call me a nerd? Not all geeks are nerds. Yeah. This is Geek Therapy Radio. What are we waiting for? <laughs> and now your mental curator, Johnny Hamburger. It is a somber day for comic book fans the world over. The profoundly influential and revered Stan Lee has passed away at the age of 95, leaving behind an entire universe of his creation to we, the very grateful heirs of his wonder and imagination. To be quite honest, there's nothing I can even attempt to say here that would even hold a candle to doing this man justice. So this isn't going to be a detailed biography or complete list of accomplishments. Stan Lee's work speaks for itself, so much so that people who have never even heard the name Stan Lee are still well aware of and have been heavily affected by his work. Of course, for most of his loyal fans, he was a little less than a god, but absolutely more than a man. To be completely honest, it would be of no surprise if some of his more devout treated his work as gospel, especially the early canon. You know, I pride myself on trying to keep Geek Therapy Radio as far removed from politics as possible because our personal politics is just 1% of who we are. My show celebrates the other 99% that makes us us and all the overlap therein that we have in common. But outside of politics, at least among the diehard, it is no surprise that heated arguments have and continue to arise with something as sacred as the original gospel of Spider-Man. Even slight alteration or modernization to the original story can be met with sharp criticism and debate, but Despite where you personally land in those debates, we can all agree on one beautiful thing. That Stan Lee created a universe worthy of such passion and devotion. Often in our most difficult times, it's an understatement to say that droves of us turn to the universe Lee created for respite. And as passionate as we get, Arguing the details of this or that, who can and can't use Thor's hammer, and under what special circumstances, who would win in a fight between so-and-so, the meaning and nuance behind a character's origin and history. At the end of the day, we all bond over a shared love for the legacy Stan Lee left behind, and that without Stan Lee, lots of us would be lost, or worse, have lost hope. It is no argument that Lee gave us heroes to look up to, but profoundly not because of their superhuman powers, but precisely because of their very human struggles. Spider-Man's grief of losing a loved one could not be soothed by superhuman abilities, but only by addressing a broken heart, by being broken, by being human. And it is that way, and that way only, that Stan Lee gave millions of readers hope in their own lives. Our heroes hurt the same as we do. So for the reader who sat alone on the bus, or with the flashlight under the safety of bedsheets in a broken home, or shaking dust from the pages after being pushed in the dirt, they could enter a universe where they weren't alone and in an even more beautiful way, began to share the love of these characters over a common bond with another human being in the real world. For those who found peace in his stories, none of it would have happened if Stan Lee didn't share his gifts. And going even further, Lee created characters giving voices to those in society living on the fringe. During an era where such a thing was not expected and damn sure not accepted. Black Panther gave minorities a voice when they felt they couldn't speak. And among other characters, Captain Marvel gave little girls hope that they could accomplish anything. And again, 
not because of these characters' superpowers, but because of their acute, often poignant humanity and realistic professional accomplishments. I would be lying if I said I'm not trying to take a page out of Stan Lee's book. As to how I approach my own show on my little corner of the radio dial and nook of the internet. Not at all that I expect to become even a pimple on the face of the empire that Stan Lee built, but that no matter the size of my reach, that I offer something more real each week than just about an hour of something to listen to or watch or read. That people come to geek out, learn, and have some fun, but stay for the hope and humanity that I try to offer. That's why my show's motto is, we are all geeks about something. Because we are. Every single one of us. Every single one of us, despite your politics, race, religion, gender, orientation, creed, etc., shares the common bond of an outside passion, hobby, or interest. That is something we share with each other, and something I encourage my listeners to seek out in others, especially people they've judged without even meeting them. It's pretty hard to hate someone when you're baking a cake together, talking about art, or bonding over comics. All of the sudden, that for instance, political issue that you disagree over is just one thing in the myriad of things both of you love. You know, I had Wikipedia open along with a bunch of other articles about Stan Lee, but in the end, I don't think that would be the best way to honor the man. A bunch of facts and figures is readily available, but you never hear about sales figures or movie deals or an exhaustive list of his accomplishments at his eulogy. Instead, you'd celebrate the man and his meaningful mark on the world. A man like Stan Lee doesn't go through life planning to be buried with his treasure, but to leave this world treasured. And he did just that. The world is forever and irreversibly altered for the good for having 95 years with Stan Lee. It is impossible to imagine a world without what Stan Lee created. It is impossible to measure the positive impact he left on the hearts of millions, if not billions. It is impossible to calculate the hope that he gave to the hopeless. So it is in that way that I honor Stan Lee for those immeasurables that will forever reverberate our creation now that he's entered the next. In that way, he's a superhero. Rest in peace, Stan Lee.